Hey everyone, welcome back to the next episode. Now in today's video, we're heading to the west of the island to go meet up with Josh and Holly to go dive the Sea Venture Ferry with Blue Water Divers. Now I've dived this wreck once before at night with John, so it's gonna be really interesting to see what it looks like during the day. And also I believe it's the first time Holly and Josh are gonna be diving it as well. So let's jump across to Blue Water Divers and let's go explore. The Sea Venture Ferry got its name from the famous ship, the Sea Venture, which wrecked in Bermuda in 1609 and brought the first settlers to Bermuda who were travelling to the Virginia colony of Jamestown. Now the wreck is an ex-government ferry which used to run the trip from Dockyard to Hamilton. Back in around about 2005-2006, the government had received the new fast ferries and this ferry became obsolete. The Bermuda government sold the wreck to the Bermuda Intact Wreck Initiative for the wholesome price of one dollar. A group of volunteers worked on the ship quite regularly to make it diver friendly, removing all the glass, removing all the wiring, cleaning out all the tanks, removing out the engines, cutting safe passages for divers as well to make it diver friendly. So the volunteers were constantly heading up dockyard to work on the ship and one day they actually turned up to dockyard and the ship was nowhere to be seen. They didn't know where it had gone, they were confused, they were looking around for it and one person went and put their mask on and checked under the water and the ship had actually sunk in dockyard while they were making it ready to be diver friendly. So they had to recover this vessel, raise it from the depths again and finish the work to tow out to actually be sunk where it was meant to be sunk. The ship was sunk in Eastern Blue Cut in October 2007 and it sits in a maximum depth of around about 50, 55 feet of water. But as you can see when we're diving along the wreck it has a variety of different levels to explore but what we're going to do just now is we're going to drop down into the engine room and go explore the engine room. It's very small, but what they've done is they've just removed the panels down, cleared the engines out, and it's quite interesting to see some of the pipe work and everything else down there as you can see. As we continue to explore around the wreck, we move to the front um, passenger rooms as well, but we have to be very careful in the wreck because it is very uh, sandy, silty, because it sits in the sand hole, it doesn't take too much with bad fin techniques to kick the whole visibility up for everyone. As they've made the wreck diver friendly by removing all the glass, as you can see it's great to just nip in and nip out of the wreck through the windows, through the doorways, through everywhere as you can see Holly and Josh coming through just now. With the top of the wreck sitting in 10 feet of water, so it's a perfect depth for all divers to explore and it's really popular for free divers to train on and also a lot of free divers will do penetration through the wreck as well because it's very open and safe to pass through. As we continue exploring inside the wreck, we start moving up the stairway to the second deck. This is where the bridge is located and the upper passenger seating area. Also up here is the viewpoint deck as well. You can 
see Josh is trying to be very careful coming up the stairs because the last thing he wants to do is kick the silt up and be the most hated person on the dive boat by ruining it for the other divers. Just got to be so careful coming up and not kicking that silt up. So the three of us make the upper deck. We head out to the viewpoint at the back. Now if you're on the ferry running from Dockyard to Hamilton or back, it's a stunning passage and you could imagine this deck would have been very full with tourists enjoying the views while they travel on the ferry. As we start moving towards the bridge, you can see all the consoles and controls have been removed. But as we look over the front of the bridge down to the bow, it's actually very sandy, but the visibility looks very, very good. And it gives a stunning shot as you can see right here. top of the wreck it's actually very sandy on the top and loads of little crabs are there the endemic crabs to Bermuda are there they're a type of hermit crab and when we get to the funnel at the back someone's had a bit of fun and then um, welded it in a base corner I don't know the reason why it was done but I know apparently it was one of the volunteers actually welded the bicycle onto the funnel just for a bit of fun but if you know the reason why they welded that bicycle on top Comment below and let us know because we have no idea why they've done that. We always like to have a bit of fun on dives, so you can see we're having a bit of a bubble competition. Holly is having an absolute nightmare with it just now. <laughs> As we move up the sandbank towards the reef from the wreck, you can see Josh signaling half a tank, 1500 psi, 100 bar just now, and we're continuing up to the reef. The reef is absolutely stunning. There's so much life on it. What I find amazing with Bermuda is the four different sections of Bermuda, the south shore, the east, the west, or the north, the reef is different in each of the parts. So this reef here, it's got a different type of coral compared to the south, which is a lot more brain coral, and the north, which has a lot more like sea fans. Now in the east of the island, you find it's more like miniature walls from five to down to 18 meters, but here, we have a different type of reef to South Shore and we're just going through exploring it with a lot of little swim throughs, little overhangs and also a lot of cool coral marine life kicking around. Absolutely stunning, isn't it? But enough from me, let's just continue exploring the dive site together. I really hope you guys enjoyed coming exploring the Sea Venture Ferry. 
with me, Holly and Josh. We had an absolute blast exploring it. One of the things we loved the most about it was that it's the sand hole and the up the sand bank then brought you to this stunning reef with so much life, so many critters on it as well. We had Bermuda chub, we had Cerrillo wrasse, we had parrotfish, we had pudding wife wrasse, we had cleaner shrimp. There was so much kicking about there that I didn't know that reef was there. I guess diving the wreck at night, we stayed on the wreck, we didn't know the reef was all there. So it was great to explore that. We had an absolute blast at the end, as you saw, having a bubble ring battle. Holly showing me and Josh up, as usual. And also her bringing the Thresher Shark fist pump. If you're wondering what she was doing there, it was her Thresher Shark fist pump. But what an absolute great day we had out exploring. I hope you enjoyed coming with us. And as always, if you love the videos, like, comment, subscribe to our channel, hit the notification bell. It helps out a lot. And we'll see you in the next video, guys. Keep exploring.